Hello YouTube, back here with another video. Today let's talk about the Gunslinger, the first Dark Tower book in his Magnum Opus series. So, I was go going into this book, I was pretty excited to um, see what it was all about. I mean, never really read a book like this before. Very new to me, it was kind of like a western Kind of, kind of felt like a Western to me, so. It was very unique and definitely not like anything I've ever read before, so. Yeah. Um, this is going to be a spoilers talk, so. If you've not read this book, pick it up and read it before you watch this video. So, with that out of the way, let's talk about this book. So, I love the first opening line. The man in black fled across the desert. And the gunslinger followed. That was pretty epic. I that was a pretty epic opening line. Um, I did starting off. I really liked the gunslinger. Um, we kind of get his backstory throughout the whole throughout the whole novel, um, which is very. And it's done in a way that kind of it was kind of jarring for me. So it was, it was definitely kind of jarring for me. Um, in this book, so. I would, I definitely, I definitely say that about the guns, um, but I do love the relationship between Roland and Man in Black, so, there seemed like it'd be a Joker-Batman rivalry here, and the Man in Black is a great villain. He really was in this book, um, so, yeah, there's that, um, and I gotta say, this is, oh, I almost dropped this book, but. Yeah, guns. I picked this up at Bookman's, and I, I just had I had to pick it up because they usually didn't have the first book there, so had to get it when I got it. So, I mean, look at this cover art, and I was surprised it was done by Michael Wheeling. It's pretty good, right? I would definitely say it's pretty good. Um, like I said, I really like the whole relationship between Roland Man and Black. And here's, I think here's where, um, a lot of people will be thrown off the series. The world building is, it's not as present as in, like, Lord of the Rings or any other fantasy book that you might have read, so. It's very, it's definitely not like that kind of series. It's definitely more of a suspense, sci-fi western fantasy novel, so. That's kind of my, um, that's kind of my take on it, um. Honestly, the writing style definitely kind of was hard to get through at, at times. It just, I felt so weird after reading Salem's Lot to jump into the Gunslinger because it just, they felt like two different writing styles and it just kind of felt a little, it definitely felt jarring getting, coming from one book to another. So, maybe I shouldn't have started this, with this book, but I read it, so, moving on. Um. So I think for world building, I'd give like five out of ten. Like it's it's there, I guess. It's just it's like it feels it's it's just kind of you know it's not like a specific location. It's I don't think it nails the setting that um some other fantasy series do. So there's that. Um, yeah, I definitely say this would be a. Um, not a not great world building, but char um characters I'd get I'm gonna give an eight out of ten because I think Roland and his friend Jake were really well. I I really liked them both. Jake could have been a little bit more developed because he just kind of felt there to me. But I think Roland was pretty interesting. So I don't think it's great, but it it is good. It is there's intrigue here in the in this book which I like. There's ambition. There's um which that's what makes me want to read more of the series. The characters and the um, the ideas that this novel presents. So um plot, I'm gonna give uh, another seven out of ten. I mean it's it's pretty good, but I do feel like the um the backstories kinda just hamper it a little bit. Um so yeah. And honestly this book was good. Nothing really too special. I mean, it was it was it was a um in 
a good experience. And definitely, I do feel like the the sequels will get better. So, I've heard I've heard certain people say that the sequels just get better. So I have hope for the series. Um, yeah, another spot. Um, another spoiler was Gunslinger letting his friend die. That that was interesting. Like, I wasn't expecting him to just do that, but. It is what it is, um, and I do think it sets up the mystery for what the Dark Tower is in this book really well, so, I do like this, um, it's a, it's a good book, it's not great, it's good, um, I'm gonna give it a 75. Well, well folks, that's my review of The Gunslinger, the first book in the Dark Tower series by Stephen King, um, let me down, let me know down in the comments if you like this book, um, if it's your favorite of the series, um, if it's your least favorite, um, and if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.